Melman says he decided to come out publicly because he wants to be an advocate for gay marriage. Christina Bellantoni is a senior reporter for Talking Points Memo. Memo, is he someone who you think can be influential, especially with Republicans? Maybe he's a private citizen now, not involved in Republican politics anymore. And obviously, this, uh, what he says is coming to terms with his sexuality, would have made more of a difference when Republicans were in power. You, as you know, Ken Melman was the architect of President Bush's 2004 campaign. President Bush was reelected in part because of all of the anti gay marriage amendments that were on state ballots that drove up conservative turnout and helped the Republican Party. And he says now that, you know, he wishes he had spoken out about this or, or that he hadn't been able to have some influence, well, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a few years too late for that. He also uh, told The Atlantic that President Bush was no homophobe. In fact, he says Bush wondered why gay voters didn't join forces uh, with Republicans to fight against Islamic terrorists, which he called the greatest anti-gay force in the world right now. Interesting, what do you think uh, some of the talk will be, the repercussions at all within the party? Do you think it will get people talking again? Sure, uh, it will definitely get people talking again. And again, if he wants to advocate for gay marriage, there are other Republicans that do that. Obviously, the log cabin Republicans are one of the most prominent groups out there that are advocating for gay rights, um, you know, issues such as don't ask, don't tell. I mean, I'd like to ask Ken Melman about some of those policy questions because you have the Republican Party sort of uh, in agreement against a lot of pro-gay civil rights issues. So this is just an area where it, we're going to see how involved he's going to be. Christina Bellantoni, thanks so much. Thanks.